All right, guys, welcome to our first Tuesday discussion, and we're kicking it off with some relationship talk. And specifically, we want to talk about submission. Uh, many of us, uh, you know, when you hear about marriage or you hear women being counseled about marriage and prepared for marriage, one of the biggest topics that they're told about is submission. And to be honest, there's a lot of controversy around that word. There's a lot of confusion around the word submission. But uh, I'm here with my guest, Pastor Lizzie Kamonde, who's a mentor and, of course, a pastor. Karibu sana yeah. to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you can help us make sense of, of this word, submission, because it's, it's become like submission and all of a sudden our guards are up. You know, people are ready yeah. for a, a, a fight. Yeah. Um, but really, I don't think that's how it should be nonetheless. Yeah. So, first of all, before we even jump into it, I... I want us. I want you to explain to us what we mean by submission. Okay. Uh, what I understand about submission is uh, uh, submission is to put uh, your power under check. Uh, when you submit, many other times that we feel like submission. Uh, when you submit, it's like uh, you are like you are losing it. You mm -hmm. know, you are losing your position. You are losing your place. But I understand when you submit. It's like you put your power under check. Mm. That is what I understand. So you're you, not losing it. You're just you're not, putting it under check. Yes, you're not losing it. You're managing it. it. Yes, you're managing. And again, you are in a position as a wife. You are in your position. Because when you submit, then other things about the family, you don't need to force them. Things just fall into place. Okay. So submission, it's when you put your power under check under somebody it's it's uh, your power is here but there is another power that is under that power right so your power is an under another power okay yeah well let me ask you this because i i read this quote here by chimananda ngozi who yeah. i happened to have met once actually right. and was she's a very interesting woman very strong yeah. very driven very yeah. Um, headstrong as I as I've already mentioned yeah. but this quote that she said here which is written from or is an extract from her book we should all be feminists yeah. the first part of it was we teach girls to shrink themselves yeah. and to make themselves smaller yeah. and so and a lot of people assume that that is what submission is yeah. but you're here saying actually no it's about yeah. being able to manage yeah. your power yeah uh, the Bible talks about, in the book of uh, Ephesians 5, it talks about uh, wives submit to your husband. That means, as a church, that it's a command from God. Because you cannot be the head. You cannot, as a wife, you cannot be, there is a head in the family. Mm -hmm. So you are the neck. Mm -hmm. And I understand that in the football, they must be a, goal, a, a goalkeeper. So you cannot say like you want to be the goalkeeper. They and must the be, the, yeah, they, 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 you must be the striker and they must be the, the, the goalkeeper. And that is the same, same way uh, in, the, in the setup of a family that we need to understand where am I in my position as a wife? Mm -hmm. the, the same way that you're saying that many other time we feel like it's like uh, you're losing it. It's like uh, you are, you're being taken advantage of. But when you understand in the mindset of God, when you understand it in a, in a, in a deeper dimension of God, you understand that it is not about being like you're not in control but you understand that that is your position and you can be in control in that place of submission okay. you can't be really controlling so many things but you're still in the place of submission how does submission relate to something like say so that it's maybe it's not moving away from this idea of now having control in the household yeah. which is one thing to address yeah. but even just control of say one's life Right. So maybe I'm not the one controlling decisions yeah. in my home. Yeah. I've decided to submit in that area because I think part of what is coming out from this conversation is yeah. that submission applies in different areas of our lives as, as married people yeah. or in relationships. Yeah. So there's the submitting as far as being the one to lead the family, yeah. which we're saying even by God's design yeah. is not for the woman to yeah. do. We yeah. were to be a help meet. Right. Yes. So what happens though, and how does submission check in when I'm talking about my own life, yeah. my ambitions, yeah. my career, my job, my money, yeah. <laughs> my political ambitions, whatever they could be. Because part of what uh, Chimananda was saying here yeah. is that um, 
we tell girls that you can have ambition but not too much. Yeah. You can be successful but usishindane na mume wako. I are you going to earn more money than him? No, yeah. no, 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 no. You need to tone down your expectations. You yeah. need to tone down your dreams. Uh, uh, I understand that uh, 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 Joyce, but I understand that uh, you can have your money but you can be still submissive. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? What I mean is that you see, it's not about it's it's not about a, a matter of that you are trying to fight back with your husband or you are trying to like, you are trying to because when everybody is in his position, when a wife, a husband, all what is required is the husband you're supposed to give your love to the to the mm -hmm. woman, mm -hmm. and a woman is supposed to submit. That means you are not taking advantage of the woman because she's supposed to submit because some of some of this uh, s some of the cases is like uh, because you're supposed to submit now you find like uh, the man wants to some men wants to manipulate because you know that the wife that is a place that is supposed to be mm -hmm. but when you understand the mindset like that 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 when you understand that uh, what is my role as a husband what is my role as a wife? Because as a husband, you are supposed to be a cheer goal to your wife. That means, however, whichever money she has, I mean, it should not be a threat to you. And you as a woman, you should not feel like now, because now I have money, I should be the top. You know, I should be that, because that is what happens, by the way, the career women and all these things, they have money, and they feel like I have money, and he doesn't have money. And I can be whatever I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But when you understand your position as a woman, however, whichever money you can have, whichever career that you can be holding, what you need to understand is that you can have your money, you can have whatever you have, you can be the big person outside there. But when you reach back to your house, you are that woman. Mm -hmm. You re remove your titles, you remove about your money, you remove everything about you and you understand now I'm a wife, mm -hmm. I am a mother mm -hmm. and there is a place I'm supposed to be. I cannot be, because you have, uh, you, you have a voice outside there and now you ha you, you here in the house and now you want to control the home the way other people they are cheering you outside. You want your husband also to recognize you in that perspective, mm. like this is who I am. But we need to come to a mindset of understanding, despite the title that I have, despite how I am outside there. But when I come, b despite the money I have, but when I come in the house, I should know my position as a wife. I should know the respect, because when you submit, it's a respect. Mm. You're giving your husband respect. It's a honor that you're giving unto him as your king, because he's they are our king. Mm. So you're giving, you giving him respect. You're giving him the respect, uh, the, the, the honor that he deserves as a king in your life. So why is it so hard then for women to submit? If this is someone that we love, we've you know, vowed to spend the rest of our lives with them. We've made this covenant before God and yeah. understanding that there's the role of a wife, there's the role of a husband. Yeah. What is it, what do you think it is that makes it so hard for women to submit or even just repulse this word entirely? Yeah. Oh, the first thing uh, I, I want to uh, talk about is about when a husband, because you see the Bible is so clear. Husband, love your wife. Mm -hmm. When a man loves you, when you submit to this, uh, when, when, when you submit to this man, love just come automatically. When this man loves you, you don't need, you don't, you don't fight. When, when, when the man loves you uh, sincerely, you don't fight to submit to the man. Mm -hmm. But many other times we find that uh, maybe the husband is treating you anyhow. Maybe the husband is, you know, he's just... He's just anyhow to you. Mm. So sometimes it becomes so hard for you to submit because you feel like if, if I'm not able to get what I'm supposed to get from this man, then I'm not able to also to deliver what I'm supposed to deliver to mm. the man. Mm. But in which I understand as a woman, when you submit, when you are in your place of submission, let me tell you, sometimes men, men can be so difficult. Mm. But... If you become a submissive wife, there are things that you don't need to beg your husband to do for you. That's right. There are things that you don't need to fight for your husband to do for you. But when the husband sees, because men, they're eagle, 
men have ego mm -hmm. and the ego of a man if you want to reduce a man just disrespect that man if you want to reduce a man to nothing disrespect that man if you want to reduce a man to nothing just talk to that man the way you feel like yeah. but if you want to beep up the ego of a man respect that man mm. call him the you know as in however he is there eh, mm. but raise him up mm -hmm. to the place where even if he's not doing the things that maybe you you expect him to do but when you cheer up this man when you cheer him up so much that is a place the ego of a man right. comes out right that is a place he feels i am a man i'm in control i'm i'm the king of this house yeah. and that is a place where now that, that that is a place that this man he will give you all the love that you need mm. because you've already done what He's expecting you to do. He might not really be contributing so much in the house, but if you respect this man, if you honor this man, if you show him he's that king, he's that person that is supposed to be, however he is, mm. but you show him, you cheer him up. Let me tell you some goals he's not even a, 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 he's not able to achieve because of your cheering him up, he's able to achieve those goals mm. because the eagle. You have beep him up and you feel like, I can do, I can do it. Okay. Even if he was not able to do it before. All right. Well, yeah. let me read some feedback here. Um, yeah. Hilda says, good morning, and she's uh, really timing today's segments. Uh, I have uh, Iman James from Mombasa following the show as well. Um, someone here just says, I think submission should be either way because men tend to abuse their mandate by underrating us. And I think that's a good point uh, raised there because, again, one of the biggest questions that comes out of this whole talk about submission is, you know, why is it that it has to be the woman, right? Yeah. Like, and what about, what, what is the responsibility of the man then? Does it mean that sasa anakukalia? <laughs> it's how, yeah. like, a lot of women like to put it. Yeah. But actually, if we even to go back to scripture, Ephesians 5.21. Yeah. It, before all this about wives submit to your husbands, yeah. it says submit to one another yes. out of your reverence for Christ. Yeah. So it's actually a two-way It's street. a two-way, yeah, it's a two-way traffic. And that is why I'm saying if the two parties contribute every strength to each other, you don't need to fight for anything. Mm -hmm. If a husband, you are supposed to do what you're supposed to do, it's a command that you're supposed to, like as what women need is love. Mm -hmm. As we are enticed with very small thing, mm -hmm. just to tell me you're looking so nice. You know, very small things, you're looking so pretty, you're looking so sweet, as we are enticed with those things. Mm -hmm. But for men, it's so different from them. It's so, th th their own is so different. Mm. And that is why I'm saying, if the two parties contribute to each other, if a man, you understand your position, that my, my position is to shower my, my wife with love, my own is just to shower, is, is to care for her, is mm. for me to be there for her. Which is what the Bible commands you yes. to do. Love yes. your wife as Christ loved the church. Exactly. Which is a very tall order because yes. he died yes. <laughs> for us. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that is why I'm saying if the two parties, they take their position, husband, do what you're supposed to do for the wife. Mm -hmm. You might really not uh, be, be, be her protection. Let her feel like I'm secured. Mm. Let her feel like I belong to somebody. Let, let her feel like there is somebody who is there for me. Mm. Submission for, a, for, for, for a, if every party participating in their own ways, there is no way there will be any question mark on what am I supposed to know? What, why are you not doing or what am I not doing? Right. Yes. Okay. Um, someone here says, hey, Joyce, I'm Faith Winnie tuned in from Kahawa. Although I'm so young for marriage, I'm learning a lot. Good for you, girl. Uh, keep that up. And uh, Rachel here says, um, watching from Nairobi, submission for me means letting him have his wins. I'm otherwise very headstrong, but I realize that me constantly being argumentative just to make sure I'm heard was doing more harm mm -hmm. than it was doing good. Exactly. So I'm learning to keep a balance. And I, I, I celebrate her for that because yeah. I, I think this is recognizing that, you know, we all have our own personalities. Exactly. And I don't think this is asking us to not express be. those personalities exactly. or not be those people exactly but it's it's i like how you put you said it's, it's about managing that yeah. so that 
and it applies everywhere you yeah. could even take an office example so that just because your your head strong that doesn't yeah. mean that sayote ukwe kichwa ngumu even exactly. kwa boardroom when you napeuka peuka tu sayote mm -hmm. right <laughs> sokoni exactly. whatever it's about also managing that and yeah. um so the same way we do it outside yeah. I, i think our homes we should yeah. certainly be able to apply it in our homes but yeah. guys i would li really love to hear from you guys what you think about this topic especially you ladies you know have you ever struggled with the idea of submission uh perhaps you are even dating someone you're getting married soon and that is one of those <laughs> things that you're just like hey i'd love to hear from you double two triple nine is the sms sign also maybe examples of a uh, submission that you've heard that have actually been wrong we'd love to be able to correct those mm -hmm. uh today um and uh part of what i want us to look about is then looking at what submission is not right yeah. because a lot of us think that now you know you're just because he's the head of the house mm -hmm. now you're supposed to just take whatever he says mm -hmm. do whatever he does mm -hmm. you know but that's that's not submission yeah, exactly talk to me about that uh, uh uh the thing is uh, as a wife you have your position now huh? and as you uh, that is why i said you can have power but you can have power but your power is under check mm -hmm. what do i mean you can have ideas so okay some of the men maybe there, there, there are some people that you try to give them the, the ideas but they feel like your wife and they feel like there is nothing i can be able to take from you but a person that is well groomed understand that you come and give me your ideas mm. let let's try to, let, let's talk about it let's discuss about it let's see what can be cooked out of it but you see sometimes a woman wants to be like uh i want this is my point and i have to force my point to become mm. that which Okay, I'm seeing that this is how it's supposed to be, but I want to push my point by force. Mm -hmm. I want to push it mm -hmm. by force. Mm -hmm. But as a wife understanding your position, you can be able to push your point without causing any harm, yeah. without look like you're rude. Because there is a way you can be able to approach your husband in a way that it doesn't look like you're trying to disrespect him, mm -hmm. like you're trying to take you his position like you're trying to like uh, rule the the, the, the home mm -hmm. but there is a way you can be able to control things in your own way of submission mm -hmm. in your way in in your own way and you are able to control your home still in a place of submission yeah you can be saying things he's the one who is ruling but he can be taking your ideas and be able to to work with your ideas yeah because you have been able to deposit the ideas you have been able to give out the idea in a way that is able to take it like you don't want to control me mm. like you don't want to take my position yeah. but you, you it's a wisdom it's yeah. a wisdom and i like that you use that word it is a yeah. wisdom because and i feel like when you get to that point because here's the truth yeah men yeah they are strong and they have you know much more driven personalities than yeah. we ladies do but at the end of the day i feel like deep down every man still wants that woman mm -hmm. who is going to affirm him exactly and if you master that ladies then you have scored the one exactly. if you want to call it that exactly. right and so i like that you're saying it is about applying a certain wisdom to yeah. it because it means that you've got into a place in your relationship where your man feels like he can be vulnerable mm -hmm. with you that he can trust you with his insecurities exactly. and even look to you for an answer mm -hmm. in that position you're still submitting but exactly. you've been able to have influence mm -hmm. over him and i want us to carry on this discussion when we come back from the break but in addition to that i want us to talk about six things that submission are not is not i'm going to be reflecting on an article um by john piper very famous preacher and uh, religious leader and uh, he you know he says it as it, as it is i'm going to be sharing those um with my guest here pastor lizzy also as i reflect on your feedback again double two triple nine is the sms line we'll see you after this break
all right guys welcome back to the show we continue with our discussion and here today we're talking about submission and um, of course it's a word that gets a lot of women really antsy <laughs> and nervous intense about submission and those oh, due to nakaliwa oh we are not equals now you know a lot of feminists really come after this word submission but we're here learning that actually it's a very empowered position and it is not about putting yourself down or belittling yourself but having the wisdom to be able to manage your power and your influence i really like that um putting of it and um someone here says hello joyce marriage works and it's very enjoyable if only we followed the bible women submit um someone here says hey joyce i love the show and the guest and uh, someone here else is asking um hey joyce i'm lost does submission really mean that i have to do whatsoever my man asks of me and i think that's a great point to get us yeah. into um what i want to dwell on to a little bit in this segment now in the few minutes we have left is to to look at what submission is not okay because there's a lot of rumors there's a lot of myths there's a lot of misconceptions yeah. as far as what submission actually is yeah. and now that you've explained to us very well pastor lizzie yeah. um what it is i want us to look at what it is not yeah. okay so that it's very clear for us black and yeah. white now again i'm going to be referencing an article by john piper from his website desiringgod.org but one of the things that he says then is that submission is not agreeing on everything exactly right yeah. um um especially perhaps if say the guy you know is an unbeliever or if 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 something is literally against your moral values yeah okay yeah. so submission is not saying oh because my husband has said let's go and be devil worshippers exactly. that now we are going to be exactly. devil worshippers because i'm submitting <laughs> yeah no yeah it's true that's true and uh yeah that is very much true and uh the, the uh what we need to understand is that uh, f uh submission is not foolishness mm. and uh what do i mean by say it's not foolishness there are things that you can see like this person where he's heading to is about to drain is about to fall in a very bad you can be able to see it but the person is like he still like want to drag you people mm -hmm. all of you into that dish i don't think you can just sit down and like uh, because you're submiss you're that submissive wife mm -hmm. that you should be able to follow the person until and you know very well whatever he's doing is not the right thing mm -hmm. but you should be a person that uh, you should be a woman that has power you can be able to stand on your ground to some things mm -hmm. you can be able to say no to this because you know very well it's gonna not bring good results mm -hmm. so why should do should i do it and at the end of it all i know very well we're gonna come back to the drawing board yeah. knowing very well that it's not going to work out Absolutely. so you need to you need to be also as a sub, that, that that one doesn't mean like you are big headed mm -hmm. but that one means like you have uh you you a woman that has uh you have power and there are things that you can say no to them Okay. You are he knows that you're not just somebody that can be driven anyhow yeah. but he knows that you're a woman that when you say a hey, you have you your principles you have your own principles and you know what's right to do and what's wrong to do yeah. that means this person however he can be coming to tell you something there are things that he also he'll be feeling like if i tell my wife this one I'll i don't think yeah i don't think he's yeah. going to and agree. i like that you raise that because there's a difference between being big headed yes. and having principles exactly having a stand having a moral mm -hmm. standing of sorts and um especially i mean this is very common especially with matters religion yeah. um but part of what uh, he continues to say then is that you know god made you with a mind mm -hmm. so you have to think exactly <laughs> you are a person you're not a machine you're not just a body uh -huh. <laughs> that you're just to be used or whatever um and so there are certain things that you submissively say that you would not submit mm -hmm. to because your first allegiance in this case for example yeah. would be to god yeah. and i think this is where we need to remind ourselves that God never contradicts himself. Exactly. So God wouldn't ask you to submit to your husband. Yeah. And it's leading you down away from God. Do you get what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And that is why the first thing the two of you first of all you you should all of you should submit to God. Exactly. Because if a man have submitted himself to God, that means you're safe. Mhm. Mm Whatever this man, however this man gonna 
lead the family. You know very well he's, he's hearing, accountable to someone. Uh, hey, he's hearing God, mm -hmm. so he's on the right full track. Mm -hmm. So first of all, this man is good to know. Is he also submission, sub, 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 submitted, submitted. Mm -hmm. to maybe to uh, to God and also maybe to a, 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 a spiritual leader mm -hmm. because also there is a way also you can see like your husband is going astray and the things that he's talking for real I mean you are really very sure this one I don't think it's in the rightful place mm. if he has a leader who is ahead of him if mm. he has somebody that he looks up to that is someone that at least with you being the respect that you have for him and you have seen that this this whole thing is going to bring a, a very big quarrel I think it's also good to bring a third party to the whole thing, a spiritual maturity, uh, someone who is uh, 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 at least a, a, a spiritual mature, maturity person yeah. who can be able to come in a position to guide you. And that is why always uh, as, a, as, a, as a marriage, you always have people like parents that at least you can talk to. Okay. Because sometimes you can talk to him and he's like, you know, that is his final. He has said it's final. Right. But if you have somebody that you can talk to and you can be able to talk to him, I think it's a good, it's in a better position like that. All right. Yeah. Well, related to what we've talked about, and we're going to speed through this one because they're quite similar, is that submission does not mean leaving your brain at the altar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you get married and you've put on that ring at the altar and you've been blessed and called Mrs. So-and-so, that does not mean now now again you, you just stop thinking. Exactly. <laughs> That's not what it is. Yeah. Um, in fact, he talks about a situation in which he... Uh, was counseling a couple and the wife had to ask for permission to go to the bathroom. That is, not, I mean, that sounds crazy. No. That is not submission yeah. at all. And yeah. so, you know, submission is not leaving your brain, you know, at the altar. Mm -hmm. And I like that he says that um, where submission goes wrong in relationships is where people take words such as authority or leadership and submission and they step away from the Bible and fill it with their own meanings, mm -hmm. their own understanding exactly. that is devoid of what God intended mm -hmm. it to be. And exactly. that's where we end up with all of these arguments on mm -hmm. social media and social spheres mm -hmm. that, you know, submission, but no, actually, if you're following the order in which exactly. it was designed, exactly. it is not. Let's move on to the third one here, which was submission does not mean that you do not try to influence your husband. And we've yeah. talked a bit about this already, um, saying that, you know, and the, okay, so there's a lot of times in relationships we, we say things like, stop trying to change your husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those, those type of things. But yeah. if, your, if your husband is going astray, surely as a loving wife, yeah. like you're going to try and do something about exactly. it, right? Exactly, exactly. And uh, that is why I've said that uh, you can be a wife, uh, you can be a wife and uh, with your submission now, uh, you can be able, by the way, you can be able, you are the one who is controlling everything in that house. You are the one who is running the everything in that house. Whichever decision that is being made in that home, you are the one, it is through your influence that you have been able to influence your husband in a way that he doesn't really know. But you are the one who is doing it mm -hmm. undercover. You're doing it in a way that he will not really know that uh, you're just giving me ideas and mm -hmm. like this is what I feel. Maybe we can do this. And you can really be like running the whole thing, mm -hmm. the whole show of your home in a way that your husband will not really realize like you're the one who is running the show because yeah. you'll be giving me the you'll be giving him the idea and you feel like oh i think it's a good idea mm -hmm. most of the men may not tell you that i've taken your idea i want to implement your idea mm -hmm. but he will take that idea because you have already felt it's a good idea and he will be able to implement the idea and how does it come it's i say that how does it come it comes when you are controlling the whole thing but you are controlling it like in a submission way there is a way you are able to to uh, to engage your husband mm. in a way like you're not trying to like control him in a way like you're not trying to take over yeah. but you feel like you're really contributing and your ideas he might not really tell you like i'm working to your ideas mm -hmm. but i've seen a woman that controlling the whole show of his home yeah but the husband really feel i'm the one yeah but the and woman, that means peace yes in your household. but because the woman have understood his position I will control my home in a very peaceful way. I would just, I don't need to argue with him. I don't need to 
start fighting with him. But there is a way I'll be able to tune him. There is a way I'll be able to talk to him. Yeah. And he will be able to get whatever I'm trying to do. Okay. So at the end of the day, you find like you're the one who is running the show. Right. But it feels like he's still the king. He's still the man okay. in position. All right. Well, I want to actually pause on the John Piper things because a lot of you guys are really resonating with this conversation. Many of you saying you're taking notes, you're learning a lot. And uh, so I want to touch on some of the feedback that we have here. Someone says, um, hey, Joyce, I'm Ruth from Kisi. I'm learning a lot from your segments and about the topic. Men should also listen to the ladies. It's a two-way thing. Cindy from Kirinyaga says, I feel women are just told to submit but no one really explains like on a day-to-day -day basis what that looks like and it's scary for centuries because it has been used to subjugate women well i hope you're paying attention to what we've been saying here today um because for us, you know, the basis of it is, is a biblical, is a yeah, biblical exactly. basis. Um, here, someone says, hey, Joyce, I have a husband. He does not attend to my needs. Na ako na mtoto mdogo na nikimuliza kama nianze maisha yangu. Anasema ni mgoje na niko home na hatoi chochote. What should I do? Another says, enjoying the show. Um, and Joyce, I'm a year old in marriage. Thanks for the topic. Getting inspired indeed. That's Mercy Langat uh, watching in from narok um another says i'm enjoying the show from naivasha actually submission is an important thing for marriage to thrive that's mc from naivasha uh iman james from Mombasa says i'm taking notes yawa there's a lot to learn here absolutely um hello joyce fanny's from kibera we as women are able to get whatever we want from our men if only we know the way and that way is submission mm -hmm. and it goes back to something we've talked about here a lot as far as relationships women want love for you to receive love you need to give respect mm -hmm. men want respect for exactly. them to receive respect they need to love mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why relationships are give and take you cannot be you cannot be selfish in a relationship mm -hmm. and expect it to thrive um someone here just says hey joyce the problem is when you become submissive some partners tend to think that there is something you are hiding or want from him i feel like that's very flawed that's carol from eldorit may i think there's questions as to how you guys began your relationship yeah. perhaps or even some of the things that have happened in your relationship i want to touch on something here because this is where for me this discussion almost content to get off a tangent mm. but uh, someone here says let's not forget for instance the wife can decide not to do house chores and of course yes there's roles and responsibilities in a home yeah and those are things you guys should agree on but pia me i've never been for those guys who say ati because they are the man they will never do dishes there are plenty of men in this city who yeah, help out their wives yeah, in the house exactly. because they love them yeah, so exactly you know my two cents there i think yeah. it's also a, a thought about um your own perspectives on it and how you actually view your partner yeah. but just as we wrap up here um the final things that he talks about is that submission does not mean getting all of her spiritual strength through her husband yeah. your husband your bishop and your elder and your deacon and your 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 G priest he's your everything <laughs> that's not what it is yeah. um and above all that submission is not acting in fear, fear. a god-fearing wife exactly. is fearless yeah. i want you to touch on those two as now, we let me talk about very briefly. Let, let me talk about uh, a woman understanding who you are because when as a woman when you when you understand who you are then you cannot you cannot be really be intimidated. You cannot really be like you are being freezed because you already understand who you are. Because the, uh, the reason as to why all these things happen is sometimes uh, you don't know who you are. So you are expecting someone else to define you. Yeah. And now this person comes in your life and is like uh, their husband like that. They, they want to like, you know, they just want to sit on you. They just want to do whatever they feel like they want to do to you. But when you are empowered woman, yeah. when you are a really empowered woman, what do I mean? When you understand who you are, who am I? I'm not waiting for this person to come and define me. Yeah. I already know who I am. Yeah. So I am not 
I'm, 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 I'm not waiting for this person to, to define me. That means if I understand who I am, then I understand my position. I understand my power. Okay. So I don't need to fight with you in your position. Absolutely. I need to be in my position. Stay in your lane. St I, I need to stay in my lane, my lane because I understand who I am. Absolutely. So I don't need to fight with you. And the reason as to why there is a lot of fighting is because you want to come in my lane. Mm -hmm. Because you feel like when you come in my lane, that is a place you feel like you are, you are, you are really like you are really you, you 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 are really exhausting yourself you're yeah. really doing what you're supposed to do right. but when you understand who you are as a woman you don't need to fight for a position you don't need right. to come to the lane of your husband wow pastor yeah. lizzie thank you so much for coming on to the show thank today this so has been much. a great discussion wow. should people want to follow you along maybe you have more nuggets to share where can they find you uh, i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm uh, on, i'm on facebook i'm liz favor i also do my meetings in town so you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm Liz Kamonde on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I also have a ministry that I run. I'm a vision bearer of a revival, prophetic revival ministry. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for your time Thank and you for so coming much. through to the show. Guys, I hope you've learned from this conversation here about submission. And, um, you know, maybe my parting shot on this topic today will be this. Ladies, be very careful about who it is you listen to, about who is it that is defining what submission is for you. If they have a very warped view of what submission actually is then your view of it is going to be warped as well and so understand what biblical submission is because then you're safer that way all right with that said we're going to take a short break thank you to all of you who've been sending in your sms's on that topic we'll be back at the top of the hour with even more full circle with joyce stay tuned <laughs>